a lot of poetry I'm going to share with you guys is just real. I mean, there's no curse on nothing at all. It's not nothing like that. But you may get offended by it if you're a conservative Christian. I'm sorry. But um, good. Good. Um, I think that's a great thing. So um, I'm going to share these poems with you guys. Um, this first one. I'm a big guy. You guys all see that, right? This, this yeah. is like, no, you're not big. No. He was say it to me, you're not big. Like, come on, man. I'm pretty big. Um, but, you know, with when, when it comes to, you know, someone's statue, I think a lot of times the culture kind of puts certain stereotypes on how you should be, you know? So um, this poem that I wrote was called Big Man Syndrome. And it just talks about the struggles I've had being a big man. So, here we go. If I mess up, I got it right in my back pocket to read it for y'all. Um, another thing about poetry, and those who are aspiring poets or those who write in their notebooks but are afraid, I mean, it's okay to read your poetry too. Like, don't feel like you're a terrible poet because you have to read it. I mean, I'm reading two after this, so. <laughs> All right, here we go. Big Man Syndrome. The first time I realized I was a big man is when I heard this. Big men don't cry. And because I was young, that lie penetrated my heart, soul, and mind, plus the size of my eyes because I followed those directions for years. I was the big man. Too small for big and tall, yet too big to shop at the mall, so no wonder why I could not fit in socially. But growing up in the likes of Carol City and Miramar, having a crew was like getting the physical before school started. Mm. Mandatory. And the big man had two options. Be a gangster or a clown. My non-muscle bound frame coupled with my 25% fight win ratio made the choice easy for me. <laughs> a gangster. <laughs> Point proven. I became the typical clown. <laughs> Laughter was the liquor I used to ease the pain of not fitting in, so no wonder why I took shots at everyone who came across my path. It was easy, but the pain remained. Yet I was a big man, so no tears allowed. So I silenced the cry of my heart like government officials trying to cover up a scandal, and any attempts to uncover the truth resulted in the termination of friendships. I pushed people away. Then this big man made a choice that most suffering from big man syndrome wouldn't dare to make. I accepted the big man upstairs. Mm, Cry out to God, my pastor said. Hell no. How dare I break the first rule of being a big man? The big man upstairs should know the rules of the game that any big man called crying will lose his title as one. So the battle was on. Me, the big man versus the big man upstairs. And with my previously mentioned 25% fight win ratio, the result was not surprising at all. I lost. <laughs> but he who loses his life for Christ's sake gains so much more and what I Amen. gained was beautiful. It was my identity. And guess what? I don't have to front about who I am because people don't define me. Preach! Preach! I'm, I'm gonna say it again. <laughs> I like it, she's cool, you know? You're the one that did the, um, the beauty poem, right? I'm beautiful. <laughs> I, I forgot where I was now. You don't mess me up. Where, where was I, guys? Don't define me. People don't define you. Yes. Guess what? People don't define me. So I can stand in front of you guys and admit the following things. I like Disney Channel. Yeah. I had a crush on Topanga from Boy Meets World. We all did, you I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Despite the peer pressure, I never wanted to be Zack the Black Power Ranger. <laughs> I wanted to be Tommy the White one. <laughs> and judge me if you want, but I did not know Shanene was Martin until the second season. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm free, and it feels good, because I've learned one thing. No, ma <laughs> I'm free, and it feels good, because I've learned one thing. No matter how bad you try to be someone you're not, you can never stop being you. 
Amen. And no disrespect, if God has made me in his image, yeah. then why would I want to be you? Come on. Ah. Speak on it. You know, I'm so bad with rewinds, like I totally forgot where I was again. I was just where was I? <laughs> and no offense, if God made me in his image, then why would I want to be you? Just be you. It's be beautiful. <laughs> and as lame as that last line was, it's so true. Stop trying to fit in social circles when God has made you for a cube. Yes. Stop trying to walk in mine. God gave you shoes too. Stop trying to be them. God has made you, you. Thank you. <laughs>